Good morning, children. Welcome to the today class. Today we are going to continue the third and fourth sums from the 9.1 exercise. Just I am reading the problem once you have to verify in textbook. That is the third sum. This is third sum from 9.1 exercise. The today date is the 11, 11 of November. 2020. This is third problem. A contractor plans to install two slides for the children to play in a park. For the children below the age of five years, she prefers to have a slide whose top is at a height of 1.5 meter and is inclined at an angle of 30 degrees to the ground. Whereas for adult children, she wants to have a step slide at a height of 3 meters and inclined angle of 60 degrees to the ground. What should be the length of the slide in each case? In each case means how many cases we have here? Two cases are there children. What are the two cases? A contractor plans to install two slides. That means two cases are there. In the two slides, one, one slide for the below age of five children. For the children below age of five years. The second one for elder children. That is. These are the two slides. The first slide height is 5 meters, 1.5 meters. That is inclined to the ground it is 30 degrees. This is 1.5 meter slide height it is below the 5 years children at an angle of 30 degrees to the ground. This is the that's why here I have given two cases the case 1 and case 2. This is the below age of 5 years children. The height of the slide is 1.5 meters is inclined at an angle of 30 degrees to the ground. This is. This is the slide, AC is the slide, AB is the height of the slide, AB is not a slide, AB is the height of a slide, AB is the, AB is the height of the slide, AC is the length of the slide, length of the slide is different than the height of the slide, height of the slide already they are given 1.5 meters below age of the 5 years, they are going to install that one, 1.5 height, the slide, slide of the height that is. AC is the length of the slide, we have to find out. This slide is making an angle to the ground is 30 degrees. They are given here in the problem, 30 degrees. So, solution now, this is below the age of 5 years. AB is a height of slide, height of slide. How much it is? 1.5 meters, they are given in the problem. 1.5 meters slide, below the age of 5 years, they are installing. With the, an angle of making to the ground 30 degrees. Let the length of the slide AC. This is we have to find what they are asking, what should be the length of the slide in each case. That is why AC we have to find out. Therefore, angle what they are given angle BCA. BC angle BCA equals to 30 degrees. BCA equals to 30 degrees or angle C equals to 30 degrees or ACB also we can write. That is therefore BCA angle equals 30. This is given 30 degrees given 1.5 meters height of the slide is given. We have to find out this is the length of the slide. We have to find out AC. We have to find it. Once verify this is the right angle triangle. Yet 30 degrees opposite side we have, and this is we want. What is this one? Hypotenuse. That means 30 degrees opposite side by hypotenuse. 30 degrees opposite side by hypotenuse means what is the ratio? Trigonometric ratio sine. Sine 30 degrees. That's why. Sin 30 degrees. What is sin 30 degrees definition? 30 degrees opposite side by hypotenuse. AB by S. AB value how much it is given? 1.5 meters. 1.5 by S. S means what? The length of the slide we are going to find out. That is they are going to install for the below 5 years children. Therefore AC equals to cross multiplication. AC into 1 equal to AC 2 into 1.5. 1.5 to 2 means 3 meters. Therefore, length of the slide 3 meters. That is below the age of 5 years. The same thing they are going to be installing that 
here it is a for elder children for elder children what is the height of the now here it is given whereas for elder children she wants to have a steep slide at a height of 3 meters 3 meters height one more slide they are planning for the elder children this is this is below 5 years children here it is a b equals to 3 meters they are given a b is the height of the slide okay a b is the slide this is the height of the slide this is the length of the slide a c is the length of the slide then here b c a equals it is making an angle include include an inclined an angle of 60 degrees to the ground b c a equals to 60 therefore here also we have to find out say what is the length of the slide only this is for for elder children this is for below 5 year children here sin 60 degrees equals to 60 degrees sin 60 degrees opposite side by hypotenuse ये भी yes sign definition ratio sin 60 का लिए what is that root 3 by 2 that column we have a point to access before it is there a column sir ने ना sin 60 root 3 by 2 ये भी equals to 3 meters ये c equals to sin we have to find it cross multiplication चिकन ये c equals to 2 into 3 how much it is 6 Six by root three. Children, here root three is the irrational number, so we should not keep like the irrational number. That is not that. That's why we are going to take the rationalization. What is the rationalizing factor of square root three? Square root of three only. That we have to multiply for the numerator and denominator. Root three by root three into six by root three. Six root three. Square root of three into square root of three. How much it is? Three that is. Therefore, three ones are three twos are. Two root three meters. Therefore, length of the slide equals two root three meters. This is for elder children. This is length of the slide for below five year children. Here we have the two cases. The first case is below five year children. They are planning to install the slide. In the second stage, for the elder children, they are planning to install the second slide. In the first case, the length of the slide is three meters. In the second case, that is a for elder children. The length of the slide is 2 into square root of 3 meters. This is the uh, third problem. When we are coming to the fourth problem, I am reading this. Listen very carefully. The angle of elevation of the top of the tower from a point on the ground, which is 30 meters away from the foot of the tower, is the radius. Once again, I am reading the angle of elevation. Angle of elevation means what I have told you. Our head. We have to put top like this. We have to see the top. That is angle of elevation. Here also, the angle of elevation of the top of the tower from this point, from a point on the ground. This is the ground. B C is the ground level. Suppose I am standing here. Ground. This is the ground. C is the ground position. Here too, I am angle of elevation is what? We have to raise our head to top like this. From here too, I am watching the top of the tower. From the this is the tower. A B is the tower. Look at here. A B is the tower. A B is the tower means A is the top of the tower. B is the foot of the tower. From the foot, that observer is coming. How many meters away is coming from? From the foot of the tower to 30 meters is coming from back. I am watching the top of the tower. So with an angle of 30 degrees. 30. Understood? Is it 30 meters? Here is it? 30 meters away from the Foot of the tower. This is the B is the foot of the. This you have to think that A B is a tower. B is the foot of the tower. A is the top of the tower. From the foot is coming back. Is moving away from the foot of the tower 30 meters. From there he is observing that and top of the tower with an angle of 30 degrees. Who can say what happened? Find the height of the tower. Where is the tower? Here that's why that A B is the height of the tower. A B is height of the tower. What is the h meters? Angle they are making an angle B C A angle equals angle B C equals 30 degrees. Therefore B C equals 30 degrees. Here now children we have to find out A B. What is the A B? A B is the height of a tower. That is h meters I have given you. Therefore opposite by adjacent side. 30 degrees opposite side by 30 degrees adjacent side. 30 degrees opposite side by adjacent side means what? Tan ratio, trigonometric ratio. What is the trigonometric ratio? Tell me. Tan. So tan tan 30 degrees. Tan 30 degrees means opposite side of the 30 degrees by adjacent side of 30 degrees. A by B C. A by B C. 
tan 30 from the table what is the value 1 by root 3 therefore ab means here we have taken h meters so h bc equal to 30 meters children you have to take the cross multiplication 30 into 1 30 by root 3 equals to h meters here now when we are coming h equals to 30 by root 3 here i have told you know root 3 means irrational number we should not keep like that we have to go for rationalization the same thing we are going to apply here also therefore 30 by root 3 into root 3 by root 3 root 3 rationalization is square root of root 3 that we have to multiply we should multiply for numerator and denominator root 3 by root 3 therefore 30 into root 3 by root 3 into root 3 means 3 3 ones are 3 times the translation 3 ones are 3 times Therefore, tan into root 3 meters. What is that? Length of, sorry, height of a tower, tan root 3 meters. This is a equal to tan root 3 meters. Okay, children, these are the third and fourth sums. Tomorrow, I will continue the fifth and sixth sums. Thank you. We will meet in the WhatsApp group. Thank you. Have a nice day.